Welcome to all. Dear listener, Kingdom of God is a very important topic. So we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year. The concept of the Kingdom of God is repeated throughout the Bible. This devotion was written by Dr. Peter Kamleshwar Prasad Singh. We would be honored if this message was a blessing for you. Meditation on the Kingdom of God Day 306 From the beginning of creation on to the fall, all the pronouncement, commandments, and curses made up the covenants of God with man. They were binding to every creature, man and animal alike, and were permanent in scope. God also instituted marriage after making of women, defining her role and purposes. It was further explained after the fall, as God ratified the covenant. This was again binding to all universally, whether Jew or Gentile. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Genesis chapter 1 verse 24 A man and his wife in marriage have to be together unless death sets us apart. In the course of time, Moses permitted divorce, but Jesus explained it this way in Matthew chapter 19, verse 6. So then there are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not men separate. He further clarified it, saying, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, permits you to divorce your wife, but from the beginning it was not so. Marriage, therefore, was instituted by God and is universal in scope and permanent in nature. Universal covenants pronounced by God are binding to every person, whether Jew or Gentile, and is entitled to blessings in obedience and punishable in disobedience. Punishment is not judgment, but is a result of disobedience. It is part of the covenant, as blessings go with obedience, so curses or negative results accompany disobedience. In order to keep the covenant, man and women, through marriage, need to become husband and wife. This is instituted by God himself. What is the world doing now? Forgetting the Almighty and Holy God? A young man and a young woman start living together. They continue as long as they like, and when they're fed up, they separate. Even that's not enough. There are various acts of rebellion and disobedience. They breach the agreement, breaking the covenant and subjecting men into trouble. These acts are punishable and cause the world to suffer. To be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.